But look at all of these cool interactive areas where kids can come down, get close to the water, of course, hop across. They can come this way, they can go this way, come back through here, big rock in the center. Like kids are just gonna go crazy on this thing. I think we'll have Ralph do, uh, do an example of exactly how a kid's gonna use this a little bit later. <laughs> ah, yeah, that's so fun! <laughs> and that about sums it up. We are going to build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Obviously things are going smooth today. Beginning of day four out here. You just saw Ralph picking up the cobbles which are going into our wetland filter over here. So you can see everybody busy, busy, busy. Jack's seaming down some folds back over here. We've got our aqua blocks in. We got our snorkel, our centipede below that. Now we're gonna dust the whole top of these aqua blocks with the cobble. After that, we're gonna come back with some gravel, finish that bog up. We got the guys working on the bridge over here. They got all the material sitting right here. You can see James has marked out some pathways so we can show off a little bit to the powers to be. I believe there's a food truck on the way. Things are coming together. It's a really long time for him to be just staring down at his feet. <laughs> hey, doing you, nothing as usual, eh? <laughs> what do you think about the progress? Oh man, this is not even end of day four, and if we didn't have our hiccup, something happened, our overlap didn't go in, so we ended up having to seam it. But without that, we would have actually been close to being finished at this moment. I think we got maybe a couple hours in the morning here. This thing is running. Yeah, I think we're done by noon. Oh, 100%. No, or is that what you said? Yeah, we'll be done by noon. <laughs> like done, done. Done, done. 
see Ryan just washing stuff down. See how filthy his gravel is. So we really, really want to rinse all this stuff down. He's pumping out that dirty water. Alan and a new addition to the team running up that waterfall. I just finished doing a seam through there. We've got our pipe run, etc. etc. Bridge is coming together. We've got all the decking. Oh so close. Just so close. Hey, good morning everybody. It's our last day out here in Kalamazoo, Michigan. The project is awesome. It's just spectacular. We're so close to having it finished. Yesterday wasn't quite as productive as we wanted. Everybody was huddled up towards one spot. Just got a little messy. We had to seam some liners again, right? But things are looking fantastic. But we're so close to finish. Let me spin this thing around, show you exactly what we need to get done today. And then we're gonna fire this baby up. And I can't wait to show you guys that. So, see our wetlands in, you know, there's the snorkel we've got our stone over in here we have our gravel we need to get another base of gravel that stone's not staying that'll get repositioned you can see the waterfall all coming together so water is going to come off of this come off of this roll around through here come off of that come off of this so we just got to get the rest of our gravel in here then we can button up the rest of our boulders finish our edging in here bring our plumbing in and that's it like it's so close to being done obviously we're going to come around use some of these giant rocks that we've got left over in here and here and just start putting them in as accent boulders and really more interactive rocks that kids can walk on all over the place you know when we see rocks like these over here you guys just try to imagine yourself being six eight years old and what would you do with those rocks of course you're going to climb up and so we want to give them some climbing opportunities all over the place in fact let's take a minute and just pretend you're a kid now like look at all of these cool interactive areas where kids can come down get close to the water of course hop across they can come this way they can go this way come back through here big rock in the center like kids are just gonna go crazy on this thing I think we'll have Ralph do, uh, do an example of exactly how a kid's gonna use this a little bit later <laughs> <laughs> and that about sums it up. All right, guys, next time I see you, I'll think I'll bring you up towards the wetland, show you that finished, and then it's time for the reveal. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. See you soon. Bye.
It's yeah, finished. It's awesome. Tell me about the experience. Oh man, it's, you know, it, I know you guys, so I kind of know what to expect, but this just blew me away. Blew my expectations right out of the water, you know, to look at this and then especially to see all the committee members and the people who are vested in this, to see them see this for the first time was like, you could just see it on the faces, you know, it was all over the faces. The rock you chose is just absolutely perfect. I think it worked yeah. out not just great for building waterfalls and everything else, but the way the kids are going to be able to interact with this thing is just going to be so much fun to watch yeah. over time. Absolutely. No, it's fantastic. It couldn't have went any better. You guys were a lot of fun to have. It's one thing to build something cool. It's another thing to have a lot of fun while you're doing it, yep. right? So it was fun. It's going to be great for Kalamazoo. It's going to be great for the kids that live around here. I can't tell you how many ways it's awesome. James, let's just kind of take everybody on a tour yeah, sure. of the whole thing. And like, let's just start here, you know? So we've got these incredible steps yeah. that come down. And I want you to walk almost like you were a kid. Show me how you think the kids are going to use this. Oh my gosh. So the kids are going to enter the park from the corner, right? And they're yep. just going to see that top waterfall. That's all they're going to see. So they're going to be excited. If I, I mean, I'm, I'm not a kid, I guess, but I'm still excited about it, right? So you can see that first waterfall. Then you're going to run up there. You're going to check it out. But the whole water feature doesn't even unfold until you come down the pathway and yep. start seeing all these other things. So you come down this pathway. And, and what I like about this particular staircase right here is phase two. There's a sensory garden going over here in this, oh, in this area. Awesome. So there's a path that comes off of the concrete path and adjoins this staircase. So in the original plan, this path actually went around the reservoir. Yep. So we kind of just called an audible and we're like, hey, let's take this path right through the reservoir. And I well, think that's so much cooler. And then this giant rock that yeah. you picked out originally yeah. to be the bridge. Exactly, yeah. And it worked out so nice. So it's just here. a huge landing. Because I yeah. just see parents sitting on like a rock like that, yeah. the bench over here, watching their kids sit on that rock, go up to the waterfall. I, you know kids are going to try to get underneath that Absolutely. waterfall over there. Absolutely. Then they come back across these stepping stones. James, what I keep telling myself is that's my favorite waterfall. I know, until I can't, I get I can't to decide. This I can't waterfall, decide. and then that's my favorite waterfall. It's awesome. What I love about this, one of the great things about this playground is that it's, I mean, it's unique in and of itself, right? Yep. But it's also ADA accessible, which is why we have such a large bridge. I mean, honestly, we wouldn't have done such a large bridge, yep. right? So this pathway, you know, it really, even for people that can't get into the water feature, it puts them right in the water feature, yeah. you know? So super simple waterfall, right? Big rock here, yeah. big flat rock there, big flat rock right in here in the foreground. All of these rocks making it super easy for kids of yeah. really all ages coming down into about a four inch deep pool of water over in here. For sure. Slow and moving water, you know, it's just great for younger kids. A lot of space, you know, there's going to be a busy place, we expect. So shallow water, slower moving water, just amazing. You know, plenty. there's going to be plenty of places for parents to sit and observe and watch. And it's just going to be a, a nice, safe, natural place for kids to play. It's awesome. That's awesome. And this is my favorite angle right like so this really thick water coming into here you see that undertow coming in back current and then the twist and the turns of the stream this way and now i got to show you guys well we'll have james show you the last waterfall up here which is fed by a wetland filter and i think what i like about it so much is it does exactly what you wanted it to do so the entrance to the garden is oh, over man. here so let's go walk down yeah, there real sure. quick so this is the entrance of the garden right here at point a and the idea is you came into that intersection at B, you get a little glimpse of a waterfall over there by, right up here, right up here. in between E and J over there. And just really, you explained it, you just yeah, kind of wanted. I, I think there's a six foot fence, uh, aluminum fence and landscaping around the whole space to kind of create some mystery, right? Yep. And actually I learned from you, Brian, many, many years ago that when we build a water feature, you know, you don't just show the whole thing. You, you create a little mystery with yep. that, right? Or with the landscape in general. So that's what we're doing here where you enter the space and you get a glimpse of that waterfall. Like, don't you want to check that out? Yeah, right. You know, you could be a kid or an adult or whatever, but you want to check that out. So then you walk up there and as you walk around the path, just more and more of it unfolds, yeah. you know, so which is it's perfect. This is kind of the journey roughly you know obviously they're not going to be stepping over pallets and giant boulders and everything else the dog may or may not still be here because i think he's uh here. learning to love it here but they come into this area here and they see this waterfall but you have no idea that there's an 85 foot long stream that continues down over in there and so of course everybody's going to get in here they're going to have to go this way because they see the bridge everybody sees a bridge and they're more pulled towards it there's something weird psychological about bridges 
and how everybody needs to cross one. But when they get up here, you start to really discover how much more there is to play and interact with. And this waterfall just turned out amazing. So we have a little bit over 22,000 gallons of water per hour coming over this, maybe even 25 coming through this whole thing. We have about eight feet wide, lots of sound, lots of movement, fed by a pretty large wetland filter up there that's already clearing this stuff up pretty good. Not quite as crystal clear, but I would imagine by tomorrow, this thing's spotless. And so fun, again, just for kids to kind of hop up and around the rocks. Big, giant destination boulders here in the foreground, some over in here. I cannot wait to awesome. see this thing all finished. Yeah. And what you're going to do, not just with the plants and stuff around the water feature, but yeah. finish the whole park. Like, tons, it's just going to be incredible. Tons more rock work to do. Amazing natural clay components shipped in from Canada and, and, you know, custom stuff that you can't see anywhere else. Just a lot of unique features here. Super forward thinking for for South Wales or yeah. anywhere. Just really, really cool stuff going on at this park. Well, James, hey, if people want to know more about what you're doing, what's the easiest way for them to find you? You can check out Only Outdoor Living on Facebook for regular updates, and you'll be in the know about what's going in the ground, what's being delivered, the work that's going on here, and opening when this park's going to be open. And if they know somebody that wants to do outdoor park like this, contact you through Only Outdoor Living? Absolutely, yeah. Awesome. Give us a call. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Absolutely. Well, James, buddy it was an awesome yeah. awesome experience so so glad to have you guys i think it's time that we just let our viewers just kind of take in for sure the, the sights and sounds Somewhere of this around. you guys enjoy the rest of this video you know what to do like comment subscribe tell all your friends make sure you check out james over at only outdoor living give ralph bezad from pondscapes az a big shout out alan decker with decker's pondscapes out of upstate new york and of course jack harju from atlantis water gardens yeah. awesome team couldn't have pulled this off we did this in five days and we went through some pretty miserable weather lots of seams and but it <laughs> yeah. was it was still a whole lot of fun man yeah. thanks for the opportunity awesome. yeah. all right thanks, thanks so much